And after the elite runners finished up their races, they were followed by the real stars of the day. These are runners who have run every year since 1977. The perennial racers bloom every year, and Brandon T. Jones was there every step of the way. How do you train for it? Yeah. <laughs> well, me and he's sitting on the couch drinking beer. Stephen Mo, simply known as Papa Mo, has done them all. Way to go, way to go doesn't really matter how the weather is or whatever adversity may be present. This annual race is a tradition. He doesn't miss out. Anybody that has lived in Spokane, you have to ask him how many bloomsdays they've done. With walking sticks in his hand, the 78 year old perennial is not too far removed from knee surgery. Last year, his son Mike pushed him in a wheelchair to keep the streak alive. Woo, we are so proud of you. Yeah, yeah. This time around, just finishing the course is an accomplishment in itself. Being surrounded by cheering runners offering their support also helps. Yeah, well, it makes me happy. As for Mike, he's not concerned with how long it may take to reach the end. Being out with his father, supporting him while he does something he loves, that's enough of a reward. I mean, he's an inspiration, and you see it, you know, with everybody passing by. He was, he was urging him on and, and uh, taking that good feeling with him. The old saying is that slow and steady wins the race. In this instance, for Papa Mo, it couldn't be more true. Yes, Rather than his personal best of 46 minutes, this Bloomsday, he won the hearts of nearly every single participant that saw him on the course. And being a perennial is a testament to compulsive behavior. From Spokane, Brandon T. Jones, Crimson News.